I would like to tell you today about our recent results that published in Hematologica on primary AML response to the satinib, both in vivo and in vitro. So as you may know, AML is a multi-stage disease with pre-leukemic, leukemic, and late stages. And there's an emergence need to identify AML inducing mutation for accurate diagnosis and treatment to teletherapy uh, according to individual's patient genetic profile. So we see that recent advances, advances in ML targeted therapy based on driver mutation have improved overall survival. And moreover, increased molecular understanding of ML pathophysiology provided a new opportunities to target specific mutations such as flat free uh, ITD and IDH1 and 2. So, in the current study, uh, we studied in vitro drug sensitivity of primary AML samples from patients who achieved complete remission and compared our result to beta ML study. So, our global aim was to identify therapies and biomarkers which could predict uh, which drug might might be added to induction therapy to prevent relapse in the specific subtypes of AML and then validate the results in vivo. So our latest study demonstrated that in certain, certain AML cases where relapse uh, uh, originate from pri uh, primitive cells, the cells from the time of uh, diagnosis capable of leukemic and graphene in immune deficient mice and were identical to those that caused the relapse. In this patient, the bulk of cells are responsive, responsive, uh, responsive to chemotherapy, but rare leukemic stem cells that expand in the xenograph drive of relapse. So accordingly, drugs which inhibit the engrafting clones should be useful in uh, preventing a uh, relapse, but screening a large number of drugs in large number of samples in xenograft is not feasible. So an alternative approach is to screen for drugs with known mechanistic effect against large of heterogeneous ML cores in vitro, which also allows uh, for high uh, throughput screening of many drugs to establish correlation between, relapse, between response and molecular attributes of AML. So thus we screened 29 primary AML samples for drug sensitivity and resistance by using a set of 41 drugs. And the clustering analysis of IC50 resulted in two distinct drug response patterns. So one group displayed a high sensitivity to many tested drugs, most of them tyrosine kinase inhibitors, including the satinib. And then we define molecular features that could predict which AML samples will be the satinib responders. In our code, we identified gene expression signature, which uh, separated with, between respondent and non, uh, responders and non-responders, and compared our results to the results of B, the BTML study, where also sh we showed a, a unique clustering of all expressed genes enriched in the satinib responders. So we then identified significant enrichment of genes that are co-expressed with several of the satinib targets like SRC, CSF1R, and BLK. We also built a prediction model to identify the, the satinib responders based on gene expression, which gave predictive, predictive value that was 100%, a full discovery rate was 60%. And by uh, testing the response of ML patients with recurrent somatic mutation to, to the satinib, we found that where patients with mutations were significantly more sensitive to the satinib, were sensitive to the satinib. We also raised the question what the efficacy of the satinib in vivo. And we found that subgroups of flat free ITD ML patients. Uh, Actually, the satinib uh, treatment could uh, reduce the, uh, the engraftment of AML leukemic stem cells. So our results suggest that 
the addition of adastatinib to uh, the current standard of flat free AML uh, by, uh, may actually benefit a, a subset of flat free ITD uh, positive patients and should test it in clinical trials. Uh, clearly, the potential to toxicity, toxicity of, such, of such combination needs to be actually taken into account. And another possible clinical trial would be the addition of the satinib to a standard of care of in patients with PTP and 11 mutated AMA. We suggest also that a unique gene expression signature uh, is uh, detected by RNA seq may predict response to the, uh, the satinib, and that this RNA seq based patient selection may be included in a future clinical trials. So, uh, given the satinib activity against leukemic stem cells, uh, there's, uh, there's a hope that the addition of the satinib during initial therapy will reduce risk, risk of, a, of a relapse. <laughs>